G'day there. So it's the end of day one uh, of having my Razer Hydra. Uh, a friend of mine was kind enough to lend one to me and I've been waiting for it to rock up. It finally rocked up this morning and so I've started having a play around with it. So I don't really have a game as such together yet but I did have a play around with it today and it is just the most fun. So I do have this working with the Oculus Rift as well but I've found that with the current version of Unreal it tends to be a bit crash happy when you exit the game and it's not as fun to look at with the two stereo images anyway, so I figured I'd just do this uh, instead. So if I play now, I've got the two controllers docked, but if I bring them off, I've got some lovely hands. I've got lovely uh, mannequin hands. I pulled these off the character uh, that comes with Unreal. I snapped them off and gave them there. Kept managed to keep the bones and the skinning and everything, which was handy. Um, so that means that I can do things like grab stuff with this hand or knock on someone's door. Uh, I've got separated animations for both hands. Um, I've also got the ability to point at things. So I can point over here at you. You have done the wrong thing. Um, and this one here is slightly different. So it's actually got a tracking uh, point on it. And that, uh, that flashing piece of geometry there is just an indicator to sort of show what you're pointing at. Um, and that'll come in handy later on. But, you know, the fact is, you can do, like, one cool thing, which is track stuff, then you can do another cool thing, which is track something else, and it's, you know, surprisingly accurate. It's quite a lot of fun. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. One might even say that it was kind of metal. Raw! Yes! Raw! You! You and you and you! Metal! Metal! So that was kind of awesome. Um, and you know, obviously we can kind of look around, we can do cool stuff, and this one's set up as a floating pawn at the moment, which may have been a really bad mistake, because uh, it's not it's not the most fun to use. Um, what I have got going in sort of a very rough, rudimentary sense is the ability to pick things up. So it's a little bit janky at the moment, but you can kind of throw them as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's very rough. Uh, at this stage, let me see if I can get a better grip on this thing. Yeah, I got it. I can manage to throw it a little bit that way, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm doing that part wrong. Um, but, you know, it's kind of fun. You can kind of, you know, do all kinds of cool stuff and gesture and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, what would, what would something like this be? Um, oh, actually, that's the other thing. So I'm able to point at things, but you'll see that thing light up when I, uh, when I target it. And I point my finger at it, or I can point at that one over there as well. I can point at that one. And then if I hit this button, then I teleport to that location. So it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit bullet training. I've been doing stuff like this for like the last few weeks. And then they showed bullet train. And it's like, come on, really? You set that up and I thought I was being so clever. Pew. You can get along to that one as well. Um, and I think it works over fairly long distances. Uh, and I don't want to f spin people around too much when they've um, got the headset on. So that's why I've got, you know, it just maintains the position that you were facing before you teleported. But what would something like this be, really, without some kind of weaponry? Raw! Yes! It is pimp! It is sick! This is the Starbuck. We must watch our fingies on this one, as designed by my friend Tony. Um, he never finished this, or he hasn't finished it yet, so this is just a work in progress model. But I just think it's so cool that I've just been wanting to have it ready to wave around and point at stuff for a while. What I'm also doing is I've got uh, a render target set up on the viewfinder panel of it, which is actually his idea, um, which I think is kind of cool. It's attached to the end of the barrel, so that if I were to shoot at something, um, I'd actually see what I was shooting at. And uh, why, why don't we why don't we do a little bit of that? Oh, what's this we have here? We have another modified version of that weapon, which is going to be the repair tool. 
So I want to have this, and it's got kind of like a cool little janky bit on the top there. Um, so it's a bit more industrial. It's not like a pistol. We'll point this at stuff and we'll be able to fix things with it while we shoot at other stuff. You know, shoot over the top of something while we're repairing something. You know, take enemies out and do all that cool stuff. Uh, if I hit these buttons, I switch back to hands. And they go back to doing, you know, the stuff they're meant to. And I can teleport normally. Uh, whereas if I've got the gun out... It'll, uh, it'll, it'll do its thing. Um, but I also have this other version of the weapon as well, which is kind of the open rocket launcher version of it. And it's just so awesome to look at these in, in 3D and be able to sort of pick it up and rotate it around and look at it and see all the nice lighting and everything. It's actually really cool in VR as well. Uh, but this one's going to be more like the rocket launcher version where it fires a lot slower. But we can still kind of... I'm too far away. I'm going to get over here. I'm over here now. Take them all out. Take them all out. Take them all out. Take them all out. Yeah, so I can start to get a bit crazy with it. Yeah! So that's that's day one. That's pretty pretty sweet so far. I'm uh, I'm really excited about this. This is the coolest. I think this might actually be cooler than the the Rift itself, just in the sense that you know that headset is kind of the window onto that world to to actually see it and perceive it and have it in 3D and feel that presence. But this is a way to actually interact with it, you know, and feel as though you're really getting in there and doing stuff. And, uh, uh, uh. It's so awesome. I think it might be my favorite thing in quite a long time. Yes! Bye-bye. <sighs> Bye-bye.